So finally, did you guys know that now you can also use your credit or your debit card to pay for public transportation in Toronto and the surrounding areas? I recently tried it myself and it worked really well. So in this video today, I just want to share with you how it works and also tell you at the end of this video whether or not I'll be switching from using my Presto card to using my credit card from now on. First of all, something that many people are curious to know about is where can you actually use your debit or credit card? You can use your debit or credit card for the streetcar, the bus, and also the subway, so the TTC here in Toronto. But the great thing is that apart from just Toronto, the Metrolinx also introduced debit and credit payments across all Presto participating municipal transit systems in the greater Toronto and Hamilton area. This includes the GO Transit, the UP Express, Brampton Transit, Burlington Transit, Durham Region Transit, Hamilton Street Railway, My Way in Mississauga, Oakville Transit, York Region Transit, and para Transpo in Ottawa. So it's super easy traveling to various places just by using your credit card. Speaking about traveling, when you're on the go, staying organized makes everything so much easier. And when I'm traveling, to carry around all my stuff, especially toiletries, I love using this toiletry bag here from the brand Everfun. And they come in different colors and patterns, but this one is my favorite. There are so many compartments in here, it's water resistant and leak proof by the way, and there's this hook here to hang the bag in the bathroom. I save so much time packing for traveling now because everything's in one place. So if you want to get one of these for yourself, then click on the link in the descriptions below and also check out the limited time promotion going on. So thank you Everfun for sponsoring a portion of this video. Now let's continue. What kind of debit or credit cards can you use on public transportation? The great thing is that you can use any debit or credit card. It doesn't have to be from any particular bank. And you can also use the cards that are on your smartphone or smartwatch. And for credit cards, it doesn't matter if they're issued locally or internationally. And here's how it works, guys. I'm at the subway station here, so simply tap your card. Here I'm using my credit card on the Presto device or card reader. It says accepted. The exact same goes for the bus or the streetcar. You simply tap your card on the reader. Very important to remember, you only tap on when you get on the vehicle and you do not tap off when you get off it. And just in case you're still confused and you want me to explain more to you about this tapping on and off, then you can watch this video up here where I explain everything in detail. So over here, guys, I am using my credit card on the GO train and on the GO transit. Remember, you need to tap on, but also off. So that goes both for the GO transit as well as for the UP or the UP Express. By the way, guys, tell me in the comments below, do you say UP or do you say UP Express? I personally did not try a card on my smartphone yet and that's why I'm going to show you a video of a fellow YouTuber here who has done that. So shout out to Dean Vernon Olivero. Thank you for this video that you made here. Simply take your smartwatch wherever you've loaded your card on it and tap it on the reader and go through the gate. So guys, in case you're using your credit or a debit card, which is usually in your wallet, I would think it's important to remember to first remove the card that you want to use to tap from your wallet and then tap on the reader to make sure that it scans the right card. Now, another very important question, what is the fare? The good news is that whether you're using your credit or debit card, you get to pay the same fare as when you use your Presto card. And just in case you don't know yet, there is a very tiny difference between paying a cash, uh, which is the fare up here, $3.35 for an adult versus the Presto fare and now also the debit and credit card fare, which is $3.30. It's only a difference of five cents, but well, it does add up, but it works different for different regions. Just an example, on Brampton Transit, the cash fare would apply even though you use your credit or debit card. And on the TDC, as I told you before, using your credit and debit card, you get to pay the Presto fare. Now, what about special pricing for youth, seniors, or post-secondary students? Unfortunately, when you pay using your debit or credit card, you can not access these special prices. You can only access the regular adult fare. So if you're a senior or youth or a post-secondary student and you want to take advantage of those special prices, I would strongly suggest that you stick to using the Presto card. 
One thing that people oftentimes ask me about the Presto card is also, what about if we travel as a group, let's say three people, do we need one Presto card each? And the answer is yes, you need one each if you travel together at the same time. And the same goes for credit and debit card. If you go in a group of, let's say, three or four people, each person needs to have their own debit and credit card to pass through the gates. If one person does not have a credit or debit card, then simply get that person a Presto card or pay the cash fare. Now, what about proof of payment? You know, once in a while, there's a fare inspector coming onto the bus or the subway to check whether or not you've paid your fare. To think of it, I've actually never experienced it myself. But just in case the inspector comes and asks you to provide proof for your payment, then you need to show the inspector the exact same card that you used to make the payment and not some other card. One very important thing you need to note about fees. As far as I know, there is no such fee for credit cards, but for some debit cards, depending on what package you have with your respective bank, the bank may charge you a fee like a dollar, a dollar and a half or so. Make sure that you really check the terms with your bank and see whether or not they charge you for transactions. When I first heard that now you can use your credit card on the TDC, I was excited. But what I really wanted to know is whether or not the two hour transfer still applies or not and luckily the answer is yes although you pay with your credit or debit card that two hour free transfer still applies on tdc if you are tapping within the two hour transfer window you will be not charged another fare so if you take the subway you get off the subway and then you hop on the subway again within two hours and tap that same credit card remember the same credit or debit card that you use when you first tap then you will not be charged again and i actually tried it and i already checked it in my credit card activity and yes confirmed i was not charged twice i was only charged one which is the three dollars and thirty cents which is the same as the Presto Fair. So what do I think about this new development? Is it really better to use credit and debit card um, over Presto? I would say that having the option is great for occasional public transfer users or for people who are traveling. So here's one thing that I don't like about using my credit card on public transit. Every time that you tap, you need to get out your wallet from your bag if you're using a bag like I do and then take your credit card out of your wallet, tap and then put it back in your wallet and each time you need to make sure that you don't misplace it and you don't drop it or lose it. So if you are someone who easily misplaces things then using your debit or credit card is definitely not for you. On the contrary, when I'm using my Presto card, I'm not really afraid of losing it. I usually just slip it into my pocket or somewhere into my bag. I never put it in my wallet, so it's very easily accessible. And if I do drop it and lose it, then no problem at all. As long as I've registered my card with Presto, that $50 will not be gone. And here's another reason I prefer to use Presto. In my Presto account, I can easily just pull an Excel file and just easily add up how much I spent on public transportation. And the last downside is that when when you're using your credit or debit card, you cannot make use of all those special prices. So guys, what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer them. I usually read all the comments and try my best to answer all the comments within the first one to three days of launching my video. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day and I'll see you pretty soon in the next video. Bye.